Hey guys, Reese from Outback Equipment here. On this week's episode, we're gonna be doing a quick rundown of Enerdrive's DC to DC Plus. So first off, we're gonna be starting with like what an actual DC to DC does for our, uh, for our vehicles. Uh, so this unit, what it does is it's gonna pull the 12 volt uh, from your car's alternator. It's gonna account for any voltage drop along the way, and then it's gonna be used to charge a second battery. This particular unit has an MPPT solar regulator in it, which means it's uh, compatible with solar as well. So the Enerdrive DC to DC unit is also, a, it's a multi-purpose charger, so you can use it for AGM, lead acid, and lithiums. Uh, it's also called a DC40 plus, uh, based off the fact that you can actually change the charge output and amps that the unit can provide. Enerdrive's done a really good job with their packaging and uh, making this really DIY and user-friendly. If we worked our way around the box, um, they've actually got like stuff like solar guides on there, so you, you can tell like, based on what panel you have and what voltage, uh, you'll know what sort of uh, performance you should be getting out of it. It uh, also gives you the product specs and then just a bit more information on the unit itself. Jumping into what's inside the actual product when you get it, first thing is a really in-depth uh, product user manual, a battery temperature sensor for when you're using uh, lead acid batteries, and then the actual DC to DC unit itself. Now that we've got the DC to DC unit out of the box, just taking a quick look around, Yes, it is a bulkier unit compared to some other models on the market, with good reason though. Uh, because this unit is a, uh, like a multi-amperage version, so it can go all the way down to five amps, up to 50 amps output, it does cover a wider range uh, of like uses in the market. So um, just having that built into one unit, being able to like modulate it from the screen itself, uh, definitely sort of makes up for its perks of not being as compact as other versions. Enerdrive themselves have done a really good job with making the wiring nice and simple. They've just got Philips M6 bolts all down the bottom. You've got dual input, so one obviously from your car's alternator, positive and negative for your solar, and then positive and negative going to your dual battery system. This particular unit is also compatible with smart alternators. Uh, Enerdrive's just chucked an ignition feed nut on there as well, so when you're wiring it up, uh, you just want to make sure you're picking up an ignition feed, so when the key's on, uh, it's only going to be charging the battery then. It'll lower the uh, input voltage that this needs to see before it'll start pulling any battery power. When designing this unit, Enerdrive was really keeping battery health in mind uh, and thinking of the car as well at the same time. They've got a slow ramp up feature, so when you turn the car on, it's not going to just be pulling 50 and 40 amps straight away. It's going to ramp up from that 5 amps up to your targeted uh, amperage that you've set in the system. Enerdrive set up the DC to DC charger to uh, be able to take 45 volts open circuit, meaning you can use house panels up to 800 watts in total, um, and also only 300 watts from a 12 volt panel in total. Just covering the uh, actual size of this unit, it is uh, 242 long, 172 millimeters wide, and then 74 millimeters thick. Uh, it also comes in at about 1.85 kilos, so it is a really nice heavy duty unit. So uh, once the unit's powered on, it'll run through a set of sequences, double checking that everything is tip top shape on the unit. Uh, and then you'll be able to use your, your menu and your set buttons, and then uh, you can toggle through uh, how to set up the unit. Enerdrive's done a really good job in their user manual, uh, giving you guides, cable sizes, and uh, all the different voltage parameters for uh, different types of batteries. Going through the unit itself when it starts up, when you hit the menu button the first time, it should uh, take you through your channels on how you can uh, choose what type of battery uh, you're going to be running in the unit. Like I said, if you're using a lead acid battery, make sure you hook up your temperature sensor onto the negative terminal. Uh, if you've got your gels, then you don't need it, or your uh, lithiums. After you've selected which battery you're going to be using, uh, you should be able to select how many amps you want the unit to put out. So you can cycle through with the set and select button. Uh, from, like I said earlier, from the 5 amps all the way up to the 50 amps. Then after you've selected that as well, it'll cycle through to the voltage parameters that you'd like to set. So generally check on batteries. Um, I know Enerdrive's uh, like set rest voltage is something like 13.7 volts. And then uh, the next step after that one would be to uh, tell the unit how many amps it should be seeing drawn from it once it's fully charged. So uh, when you run in a fridge or in, uh, some lights and whatnot, you'll still be drawing like four to six amps so um, obviously it'll never sit at 100% of charge because you're still drawing power. But if you tell the unit that within four to six amps it can turn off, you know the battery's fully charged. All right guys, that wraps up this episode of the DC to DC Plus from Enerdrive. Uh, if you have any questions about it, leave it in the comments below. If you liked the video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Uh, subscribe to see more of our episodes every week. Uh, any of our products you see in our videos, you can get them on outpackequipment.com.au and we'll see you in the next one.